Welcome to Cult Films, Horror Lies Ahead. In 1971, young Lucy Jern escapes from a disused slaughterhouse where she has been imprisoned and tortured for more than a year. She is placed in an orphanage, where she befriends Anna, who quickly discovers that Lucy believes she is being tormented by a disfigured, demonic woman. Fifteen years later, apparently a normal and happy family are having breakfast in their home. The doorbell rings, it's Lucy, who shoots the father to death with a shotgun. The mother follows in short order, and then Lucy hesitates, asking Antoine how old he is and if he knew what his parents have done. When she doesn't get an answer, she kills Antoine. Marie runs and hides upstairs, but Lucy finds her and shoots her with the shotgun as well. Lucy believes that the family was involved in her torture as a child. Panicked, Lucy calls Anna, at a public phone to come and help her. Lucy sees the demonic woman who torments her, she damps her hand in blood and claims she has done it and so the creature can leave her alone now. The demonic woman continues to attack her. Lucy manages to get away from the creature out of the house and runs straight into Anna. Anna enters the house and is horrified by the carnage but ultimately decides to help Lucy clean up. Anna discovers the mother is still alive, then she takes out the daughter's body to try to hide the fact that the mother is still alive in hopes of saving her. She then hears Lucy screaming from inside as the creature resumes the gruesome assault. She escapes and locks herself in a room with Anna where she has flashbacks that reveal that the demonic entity is a woman who is being tortured in the same building as Lucy. Anna then attempts to smuggle the mother out of the house and as she is getting the mother near to the exit Lucy arrives and beats the mother to death with a hammer. Lucy is again attacked by the demonic woman, but Anna only sees Lucy hurting herself, it is implied that the woman is the psychological manifestation of her guilt for leaving behind another girl who was also tortured with her as in the past. Realizing that killing her captors didn't stop her own mental torment, Lucy slits her own throat. The next day, Anna, while on the phone with her estranged abusive mother, discovers a secret passageway in the living room, leading to a subterranean chamber, she discovers an underground complex decorated with pictures of people in extreme suffering. Further down she finds imprisoned in it is a horrifically tortured woman, chained to a wall, without clothes, and with a metal blindfold proving Lucy was right about the Belfons. Anna helps the woman out and attempts to clean her, but she later finds her mutilating her arm with a knife. She runs outside and her head explodes, it was a shotgun. A group of armed people arrive at the house, and now capture Anna they bring her downstairs into the complex and the group's leader, identified only as Mademoiselle, explains to Anna that they are not interested in victims, but martyrs, the act of martyrdom brings about transcendence and the possibility of seeing into the afterlife. They are determined to create martyrs who accept their suffering and speak what they see. She shows her pictures of people in great suffering throughout history and tells her that they all saw the afterlife and had the same look in their eyes. Anna becomes the group's latest test subject. They are going to make a martyr out of her. She wakes up chained to a chair similar to the one discovered in the building where Lucy was kept. They force feed her some sort of unpleasant gruel and she is methodically beaten. This torture goes on for several days, they cut her hair, and keep brutally torturing her, she becomes badly battered until she loses her will to resist. She hears Lucy's voice in her head, telling her that it is going to be okay, that she won't suffer much longer. She then seems to accept her fate and eats what she is fed without a fight, she accepts her torture. Anna is then brought to an operating theater, where she is strapped into a rotating rack and has the skin peeled from her body. A now skinless Anna is hung by a rack under direct hot lights. The woman feeding Anna notices something about her has changed, and she calls Mademoiselle to tell her that Anna is close to transcendence. Anna glimpses into the afterlife while still alive. <coughs> Mademoiselle hurries over and arrives in time for Anna to give her an account of what she had witnessed. Members of the society then gather at the house to hear the groundbreaking testimony. She has been the only one to survive the martyrdom and survive to tell what she saw. While waiting for Mademoiselle, an assistant asks her from outside her door if what Anna said was clear. She firmly confirms and asks him in turn if he can imagine what comes after death. After he says no, Mademoiselle pulls out a handgun, tells him to keep doubting, and shots herself in the head. An inner title explains that martyr is Greek for witness and the film ends with a shot of Anna lying catatonic on a table. Thanks for subscribing, watch out and take care.